Hey everyone, RSK West here, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Last time, we fought our n uh, another Esper within uh, the shrine here, and then we found we obtained the sword that we were looking for here, and then we walked out only to find another airship overhead and smoke in the distance. And this time, we're going to be heading back to the smoke, I, I guess, but real quick. Can we equip it yet? Where is it? Y'all know what I want. Nope, not that. Why not? We didn't have this issue before, so I'm actually I'm actually very unsure. I guess we're moving on. Sorry again for the cut there. Had to get a drink of water again. Yeah, I'm not walking this whole way slow-mo. I was wondering if a battle or something was gonna happen just then, but... Oh. But I might actually have to walk all the way back. Whoa, a blizzard set in. Everything's... I... Now that I think about it, in Final Fantasy X, wasn't lightning and ice opposed to each other then as well? Now that I think about it? I think I'm actually right about that, now that I really think about it. That must be something to do with it. Okay. I just realized, too, since Pinello actually... Hold on, let's... She, had, she now has a free Gambit slot. I now have something I want for her. Not part of the leader. Any. Estunia. We don't really need Poisana anymore. Um, hmm. Yeah, we don't really need Poison anymore, but I'm just gonna leave it up just in case. Yeah, she should be casting a Sunia. Nice, she is. Anyway, this area has changed. Enemies are still the same, but the weather conditions are terrible. And I believe ranged weapons, especially bows in particular, have horrible, horrible accuracy whenever there are weather conditions in place. So, Frank would be terrible here, as well as... Bosh. I'm not even sure Pinello is actually hitting not very much. Well, not Bosh, but about the air. Maybe we should... Well, no, the skeletons keep casting blind. About the air would be good, though. I'm actually really considering leaving about the air with the axe permanently. And just... Switching him out for the gun class whenever we need to. <laughs> you know what? You have a free gamut, don't you, actually? That's actually not useful at the moment. I don't want it on a foe. I want it on... Oh, I don't want it an ally. Um... I really need a self status just any time. That's something to look for next time I go buy a Gambit shop. We're just gonna dodge the Garuda. We are not dodging the Garuda. Shoot. Uh, Panano, get out of here. Fran, come in here. We're out of the blizzard up here, it looks like. Yay! Yeah, we're gonna have to fight all these guys. <laughs> Thankfully, she has Darka, which is, uh... Yeah, any light elemental things, beware! We now have a Dark Mage. <laughs> or an Arcane Mage, actually. Surely. Yeah, Bosch has become extremely overpowered. Oh, oh, um... 
Pran has also become a bit of a healer. Also, I just used all my MP to heal myself, which is fine. I said, boss doesn't use MP on anything else, so I have no problem with him doing that. What I do have a problem with is him not being able to use his freaking summon. It only costs 30 LP points, so... Because of that, I really don't care if I go ahead and use some of his LP points real quick. Gambits are not that useful in him at the moment. Sun tells me that's an ultimate weapon. I have a strong feeling that's an ultimate weapon. We have telekinesis, but we haven't found it. Swords 9 is all the way down there, dang. We're in a general area for heavy armor, and he could use some more. And aside from that, we can just give him, well, adrenaline, I guess, but... Ooh, what's... No. <laughs> I think I'll pass on that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want any attack that will consume HP to do damage. Because, one, I don't like those attacks anyway. But in this gambit system, that would, I would end up having characters basically committing suicide just to damage foes. Which, kamikaze strategy, I guess, but I think not. Uh, I'm gonna save it real quick in case something happens. Okay, game saved. Let's move back on. I assume there's probably nothing in between here and there, but... The game hasn't given us in any indication of where exactly to go now to think about it. Oh, never mind. Uh, nap, it says Mount Veromni Sai. So, let's rush there. The fastest way is from north, or to the north of here. Wow! Now- now even Bosch is one-shotting these guys! That's some power! Yeah. Boss leveled up. How- how are our levels doing anyway? Um... Bon is at the highest level, but not by much. Actually, Osh is second highest. We don't really need Vaughn right now, actually. So, Balthier come in. Balthier, you can come in. Uh, I dropped on Balthier. Was that him who leveled up? No, it was Fran, I believe. I don't know why the camera feels really close in this area right now. Yeah, these enemies are no threat. Okay, we're heading back to Mount Baromni Say. Bad feeling. It's raining. To send their soldiers here and profane this place has Arcadia no fear of the gods. Um Whoa, you got new you got new stuff. Or, not really, actually, now to look at it. You technically have new gear, but... Eh. Just eh. Ice Brand... Is... I think I've looked at these before, actually. Now that I think about it. That would actually be good in... Uh... Pinello, though. Actually, we have stuff to sell. I'm gonna recap myself. Okay, I upgraded Pinello's uh, crossbow and uh, about the air's axe. So they are now extremely powerful, which is why I am considering switching them in. I could also upgrade other characters like Boss, but I ran out of money and LP points. Normally, that would not be an issue, but the LP points is all I can't do anything about. <laughs> I'm gonna save real quick. Game has been saved. Now let's see what's happened. Bad feeling. Uh, 
I was right. Those judges, I thought they were the protectors of the law, but they were only cruel brutes bullying the weak. There are still Imperials in the temple. I'd stay clear of the place where are you. So, sorry for the cut. I've been separated from my family. Gods, I hope they're alright. The, the refugees are here. That's... Mama was standing with the Kiltus, and the man in armor knocked her down. She can't get up for the pain. Mama! Uh-oh. Yeah, the refugees are here, and they got attacked. And the smoke's coming from the refugee camp, no less. This is a little... Hmm. I take back everything nice I said at the beginning of the game about Vayne. I no longer agree with, my own, with myself. This is a little bit cruel. The Arcadians. A judge. Leading armed men. Those who went to stop them slain everyone. And this music. Hold up. Hmm. There's some sad music. You and the Lady Ash, quickly, you must leave the temple. There's... there, there still. Uh-uh, we're going to... Let's see if we can do some help, hopefully. Mm. It begins... We began speaking with the Arcadian forces when... That arrived, when the judge... He suddenly drew his blade. That day would profane the holy mounting of Kiltus, though. Has Arcadia no fear of the gods? Someone else said that already. Whoa. Whoa, this is where it happened. That man, a monster. So many people fell with but a single blow. We're gonna have another boss man, aren't we? Just when I began to grow close to them, they started killing each other. It is as I feared. Human behavior is savage and ugly. Mm. Uh oh. Larsa! Uh oh. I just, I just realized she's here still. Uh oh. led you to the Sword of Kings. <sighs> you will surrender it to me. Too late and to their sorrow do those who misplace their trust in gods learn their fate. There it is again. Fran, I don't like the look of that. This mist, he holds a stone. It controls him as it did Mjern. No, no, the power of manufactured nethersite is the power of man. A weapon forged by his wisdom who would challenge the gods themselves. A fitting blade for a true dynast king. Wraithwall did but pretend the title, a cur begging nethersite scraps from his master's table. Hark! Ivalice hails her true dynast king, Vain Solidor. He shall defy the will of the gods and see the reins of history back in the hands of man. His time is nigh! The new Ivalice holds no place for the name down Masker. The stain of Wraithwall's blood shall be washed clean from history's weave. This man's nuts! Wait. Of course. We still got Libra up. What about him? We're nowhere near him to attack, so... They just used water. Well, we have Pinello out at the very least. Am I not hitting? Whoa. Stop attacking her. 
Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is a bad party. This is a bad party. This is a very bad party. Bond, get out here now. I'm also gonna throw up... Where is it? Well, maybe not yet. Um... Sure. Boss went down. And Pinello. What is happening? Uh... I need both of them out here. keeps using that. Okay, no, we need... Reflect them out. Or reflect them out. Bosh went down again. Pinello's about to go down again, but we have no way to deal with it. Uh, this is bad. Wait a minute. Bio mode! We have not even dented this guy! What is happening? Wait, are these both judges? These guys are blocking his attack. I get it. Spears are bad against these guys. That explains our issue. Would I need Bosch to get out of here? Bosch out. About the area. And I need to get back. They're even blocking arrows! Uh-oh. Cure gun yourself, Fran. Quickly! Nope. Not happening. We just need to get rid of his dang eyes! Or maybe we should just all-out focus on him. We need a healer. And France seems to be doing better than... Uh, where is it? I'm gonna use up all my Phoenix Downs on this, aren't I? Use it, Blazara. Quickly! Nope. There's just too many of them. Oh my gosh, what is happening? It's just Fran and Bosch. We've lost this. Why aren't these guys going down? You use blue. We've lost. I hope we weren't supposed to win this because these guys aren't going down. For crying out loud, go down! There's nothing I can do, they won't go down! One of them finally went to freak down, but I went down too. Nope, we were supposed to win! What the heck?
Okay, I currently have the party of Bon, Bautier, Pinello. Let's hope we don't have to do any more insane switching out, like what just happened. I'm gonna ignore the guys behind me, and I'm gonna rush straight for him. The judge. Also, we have to skip the cutscene, because we do. Everyone, attack him. In fact... Bond summon Bella right now. We still ha don't have the ability to, ability to give anyone our new Esper quite yet, which is unfortunate. Now, Bellas, um... Not you. I want Bellas to spam Fyra. That's not doing much. But it's better than nothing. Uh-oh. My health, my health! I didn't think this through. Quickly, Kira, 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 Kira. That wasn't much. Wait, did no? I have bubble. Use Kira again, Kira, 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 Kira. Okay, that's better than nothing. Here's another Fyra, and then hopefully Hellfire can finish them off. Oh shoot, he can combo me! Oh wait, this is fine. Kira again, please! But I'm gonna keep Vaughn away. I'm gonna keep Vaughn away! No, Vaughn, stop attacking. Use another Fyra. Shoot. Whoa! Actually, his health is almost gone. He might be able to feed all the enemies. If that's the case, like, he might be able to defeat him without Hellfire. If that's the case. Do it again. Fyra again, and after that we can just stall him at... Bellus is dead. Bellus is about to die. Never mind. Hellfire, quick! Nope, he didn't get it off in time. That sucks. That really sucks. However, there is literally one guy left. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna back off for a minute. Why Pinello? Okay. Okay, I think we have this now. We were in a bad spot for- He can infl- uh, Give me blind? Are you kidding? Run away! Nope, Bond's out. That's fine. That's honestly fine. Wait, Bond's dead. Oh, she revived Bond. I forgot. I keep forgetting she has revive. Please use a Sunya too. As, actually, as long as she has the MP to keep us alive, we can keep damaging him. However, um, if Bond can't hit him, that's another matter. Yeah. 
Hiraga. Die was too late. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We just need him to go down. I can't. He one shot Pinello. Bran, I hope you like being a healer. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Take this guy down. How did we nuke him? Oh, that was the end of the battle. Visions of the Dreamer achievement. He set his very bones about with manufactured nethersite. The Grand Kiltius? Wait, what about Larsa? Gone. Spirited away by Judge Gabrant. You okay? <laughs> so he was here. Ah, as for our young lordling, he went along. To avoid trouble, you see, but Judge Bergen had other ideas. He flew into a rage, and I was left to fend for myself. Please, Princess, you must permit me to take you back with me to Rosaria. So that you can protect me? I would lay down my life at a single word to be sure, but I harbor no maundering delusions of valiant grandeur. Vain has our war pavilion jumping at shadows. They favor a preemptive strike, but you, you will convince them otherwise. You will see that they do not start this war. This I cannot do. Forgive me, but my errand here is not yet done. I must wield the Sword of Kings, and with it bring an end to the Dusk Shard. <sighs> This stone, do you even know what it is? I can venture a guess. The Draclaw Laboratory in Arcades. The Empire's weapons research begins and ends there. How soon do we leave? At once. As for matters in Rosaria, I bid you luck. <laughs> so you would leave each to fend for his own. Let us hope that you are not disappointed. <sighs> ah, that's right. Larsa left a message. The differences between our two lands will fade before the shared dream of men. <sighs> My leave, I take. How do you propose we reach Arcades? Arcadia's borders will be well guarded for fear of Rosarian invasion. We dare not approach by air. And their navy will see that the coast is watched as well. No, we go afoot. We'll cross into Arcadia in the Salica Wood. We can reach the wood any number of ways. But the easiest is to head north from Nalbana. There is a hunter's camp just beyond the Salika Wood. The camp sits within Arcadia's borders, so Imperial patrols there should be sparse. Getting that far should be half the fun. Let's be sure we go prepared. And so it would seem one half of our journey comes to a sad end. And the next... And it looks like the next bit of our journey begins. That is... Well, first I need to heal everyone. But we have to go all the way to Nalbana, it would seem, at the very least. Which means a pit stop in Rabinass there is in order. This looks like the break in the game we've been needing. But... Mmm. Let's... Let's real quickly see what's happening here. 
Hume child, do you seek greater power? Know then, the fate of those who have fallen in their search for strength. In the distant path, the great Condemer too sought such power, and was stricken down by the gods. Even now, his spirit is bound within the still shrine of Miram. Take this stone in hand, and walk the path into darkness. We obtained the stone of the Condemer. Whoa, what is that? Wait. What is that? A piece of magic that's set to open the way to a forbidding place. An inscription carved to stone back reads, He with power trusted not. That's clearly an optional item. I just realized, if the sword is capable of destroying Nethesite, would it have been good against that boss fight if he was using Nethesite? <laughs> I just realized that. All Mount Baromni say mourns the passing of his great Anastasis. Now it falls to us to choose another Grand Kiltus, yet no one steps forward. I fear... Blah, blah, blah. I fear the future of the Kiltus is imperiled. I mean... Yeah, we can't even go in there anymore. That's bad. Just wow. This game likes throwing gut punches, apparently. It really likes throwing, like, plot gut punches, I've noticed. Anyway, I guess we're gonna head to a save point and heal everyone up? <laughs> this game really likes throwing plot gut, gut punches at me, apparently. Do 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 do. Okay, I guess we're gonna end it here. Oh, it looks like the Moogle's here now. Anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. We got a bit done, but the sad music seems to be here to stay. And that's kinda got my mood that way, too. Next time, I guess we're gonna be going back to Rabinaster. We probably won't be advancing the plot just yet, though, unless we can get some stuff done super fast. I wanna prepare characters with Gambit, specifically. But also, I want to work on clan primers and have a rematch with the Weaver Lord. So thank you all for watching this episode. I have been Oscar KOS, and I will see y'all next time. Take care. Bye.